all, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, my name is Marie, welcome, I'm so glad you're here. Today's video is way overdue, and I know I'm sorry, it's just been crazy over here, and I just have not had the time to record it, but I'm glad I have the time today to do it for you all, and share with you all how I'm doing. I am way over one year post app, I am one year and three months, um, the one year mark was this past March. And I'm doing a lot better than the last video I posted on me complaining about the swelling. Um, but I did have changed a few things that I think have helped me to be in a better spot right now. So let's get started. Um, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Um, make sure you like this video and share it with your friends that are my thinking of doing a mountain makeover created a list of things that I want to touch base with you all. I just want to keep the video short and sweet. Um, the first one on the list is if I had my one year appointment with the surgeon. I did, it was just a video call um, because I used to live an hour and 30 minutes from him and now I'm almost five hours from him. So driving to see him is a little bit more complicated now so I can't do that. But I did share a few things with him that were a little concerning to me and he just said that he wanted to wait it out a little bit longer and that he will schedule me in at my one year and six months um, post-op to go see him in the office. Um, am I still swelling? I am, but I have learned of things that made me swell up more when it comes to foods. So I have been really working on just really watching what I eat and things that kind of trigger me from like being swollen or even feeling bloated and stuff like that. So this past few months I've really, really been working hard on really watching what I eat and what I drink and drinking as much water as I can. Of course, I am human. There are days that I just don't care and eat five cookies. Um, but I know that later on, I know how I'm going to feel. But if I can give you an advice if you're recovering right now, is really, really, really watch what you're eating. Because all the progress that we made, we went through surgery and then we kind of just let ourselves go after surgery. It can really start, you can start really gaining weight fast and your results can start kind of like just melting away. Um, so my recommendation is really watch what you eat and drink as much water as you can and stay active. Um, I have been really active since I started getting warm outside. I love being outside. Can you guys tell I have like a super tan? Um, I spend the month of May biking, like the goal for my daughter and I was to bike 300 miles each and we reached our goal. I was at 310 and she was almost at 300 but I'm just super proud of her. She did it so whatever. Um, my scar. My scar um, is looking better um, as time goes by. It definitely does not look like this anymore um, and it's still healing. Um, I am not using the scar treatment anymore but I'm still using the bio oil. This is one of my faves. I go through a bottle of this like in a month um, and every day after I shower morning and night I just massage my belly with it. You can find it at Target, Amazon, anywhere. I will link it down below in the in the description box. Um, so I'm still like will rub it just around here and then under, under my scar right here and under my breast because I did get a breast lift and my breast is just I I like if I can recommend it I will. Um, I didn't get implants. This is just a good nice bra that I'm wearing <laughs> but if I could recommend this um, surgery to anyone I think you would love the results um, especially if you find a surgeon that, that specializes 
face and breast and mine did. Um, I am still using Baja. Um, it is what it is. I'm just getting used to it. I just found ones that work for me. I like this one, which is the shorts. Um, you can tell some areas where the oil from the Baja oil. Um, you can find it on Amazon. I love this one to wear it like now that it's getting hot outside I don't have to wear the whole thing and again I have shared this in my previous videos um, it has the clips of you can start at the first one and the second and third um, the last video that I posted when I share all the shapewears that I like um, I was at the first one and as of last week I started putting myself on the third one and I love that it has this part right here because it prevents it from going down here or even in your legs, it has that as well. And it makes it easier for you to go to the bathroom. I still wear this one sometimes. Um, I have wore this thing, oh Lord, um, the full body one. Sometimes I will prefer this one. This one, it just really depends on the day. And this one I also bought it on Amazon. It is on the pricier side, but it's totally worth it. I recommend it. I want to share with you all, sorry, I have to put this down, um, how my scar is looking. So let me just put this, I think this is the kit. Um, this is how it looks. I still have some stretch marks, um, but I think the bio oil has really helped with making them less visible um and then let me just not go too low but like you can tell a lot of this area you can um barely see the line anymore so i love that and i know it's it's all gonna get there but like this area where my drains were at they're still a little dark Like this, you can barely tell here. But it's like really smooth. But I love like when all the entire, my entire incision, when it comes, turns this way, it's gonna look great. And from comparing myself, when I will share this with you all, the swollen here, I, it has gone down quite a bit. Um, like I said, I've been really trying to watch what I put in my body and drinking a lot of water. So it's getting, it's getting better. And my belly button, you can barely see the incision anymore. And then under here, Yeah, they're so light. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can put them down in the comments below. Or if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can send me a private message on Instagram and I would love to answer any questions you have. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.